Hello people of YouTube and welcome to my channel. Today we are about to make one very famous Italian dish. We are about to make one pan carbonara. But this carbonara will be very easy because everything will become inside this lovely pan. One pan carbonara with few Greek touches, the way of cooking Greek touches. This carbonara will be ready in under 10 minutes. So let's begin. First of all, we have to turn on the heat and put a non-stick pan on the heat. Now, normally when we're making carbonara in Italy, we're using Italian cuts like guacciale, okay? But of course, you cannot find everywhere this kind of cuts. That's why I will use the humble bacon that everybody can find. Okay, so one ingredient is bacon. The second ingredient is Parmesan. The third ingredient is spaghetti, some cream, and of course, some eggs. And I will add my bacon, okay? We want some bacon because we want this smoky flavor and it's cheap, you can find it anywhere. And of course, it will work definitely to this recipe. Now, I will cut into small strips my bacon. And the first thing that I'm going to do is to saute the bacon. Now, if the bacon is fatty enough, then you don't have to add any oil. But if your bacon is quite lean, then you have to add some fats to make sure that the bacon will become crispy. Now, mix and mix everything here. And normally in carbonara, we don't use in garlic, but I love garlic. The Greeks love garlic to carbonara. That's why I will slice one clove of garlic and throw it into the pan. The next ingredient is spaghetti. And I think you never saw that before, like this, right? To throwing raw spaghetti into a pan, right? But we will do it, don't worry. After my bacon is ready and I have these lovely flavors, I can smell now the garlic and the smoky flavor of the bacon. It's time to add my spaghetti. As I told you, it's a one pan recipe. That's why we don't want to boil the spaghetti in another pot and then add it into the carbonara. I want to make your life easy. That's why the spaghetti is in. And the next ingredient is what my friend like is water. The water is in. And at this point, I will mix, mix everything together. And now the water is full of flavors from the garlic and the bacon. These flavors will come into the spaghetti. It will absorb all these lovely flavors. So after eight minutes, the spaghetti will be ready, tender, and I will add the rest of the ingredients. So after eight minutes, my spaghetti is ready, al dente, sexy and nice and the water is almost fully absorbed and it's time to add the rest of the ingredients. Now, I will lower my heat here and I have one bowl that I will add my eggs. I will crack two eggs, two whole eggs in. I know that probably Italian people will hate me because the next ingredient that I'm about to add is cream, okay? Italian people will hate me, but everybody else will love me because this way you will prevent uh, the mixer to split. So it's very important to add a little bit cream to help you for the first time you are making carbonara. I will add some salt, a little bit, some pepper, and don't add a lot of salt because now we will add Mr. Parmesan. Parmesan is quite salty and of course it's quite tasty. And I will mix and mix everything together, okay? Is it easy? We want to break the eggs. This is actually the sauce and the taste of the carbonara. Now, I will turn my heat off and I will add the mixer of eggs, parmesan and cream inside. And now, my spaghetti are steaming and of course my pan is still hot. That's why I will start stirring everything together and with the heat of the spaghetti, the eggs will pasteurize and the sauce will become thicker and nice. You see how it's steaming? And that means that actually the spaghetti are cooking the mixer and this is it. It's time to serve. I have a lovely dish here. Give it a few moments. Don't worry, 
Everything is pasteurized and nice. Can you see that? The steam. Steam means 100 degrees Celsius. Everything is nice and sexy because we add the sauce to the very last moment when the pan was hot, when the spaghetti were steaming, and this is it. This, my friend, is the easiest carbonara ever. And the only thing can you do at this lovely dish is to add a little bit more parmesan, if you want. It's not necessary, but I think parmesan is something you cannot stop adding to the recipes. And of course, some freshly ground pepper. Like this? Are you ready? This is exactly what we want. Can you see this consistency of the sauce? This lovely spaghetti, it's something you want to taste. Now guys, you have to subscribe to my channel, make comments underneath the video, and share this lovely recipe with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my social media, uh, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Viber, and TikTok, and please make some comments and let me know what other recipes you want to show you, because I love to do that. I want to read in your comments, and of course, to see your photos of the food that you are creating. See you next time, bye-bye. Mm. Thank you.